So Rahul Gandhi is in Washington on a three-city tour and uh, he's been all guns blazing, very direct charging at the Modi government, alleging whether it's minorities, whether it's an own defamation, all of this is being done under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and he's hit out repeatedly, constantly at Modi government. But now in this fresh showdown, Rahul Gandhi to a question at the National Press Club in Washington reacted about the alliance that he has in Kerala with the Muslim League. He said the Muslim League is a completely secular party. There is, there is nothing non-secular about them. Now this Indian Muslim League is a regional party. It is based in Kerala. It's a traditional ally of the Congress-led United Democratic Front in Kerala. But the BJP hit back at Rahul Gandhi saying hailing a party responsible for partition on India on religious lines, responsible for communal commons and then making such remarks shows he's compelled to make it to remain acceptable in Vyanad. Vyanad was where he represented it as a constituency, as a member of parliament. Rahul Gandhi further stated that there was a clampdown on institution and press freedom in India. Rahul Gandhi has said BJP was promoting a polarizing vision in country, damaging India. And he's also expressing confidence that opposition parties will be united ahead of the crucial Lok Sabha elections next year. All Indian people, right, uh, have a right to expression. All Indian people uh, have a right to religious freedom. All Indian communities should feel free to uh, express themselves. So I, I don't dif differentiate between any community, any caste. I think India, as I mentioned just now, is a conversation. And the freer and more open that conversation, the more powerful India becomes. You, you have to have an independent set of institutions mm -hmm. that are not pressurized and controlled. And that, that's been the norm in India. There is a weakening of uh, press freedoms. This is not hidden. I mean, everybody knows it. It's, it's apparent in India. Um, the rest of the world can see it. There is, a, there is a clampdown on the institutional framework that, uh, that, that allowed India to talk. There is a definite capture of the institutions uh, of the country. There is a definite capture of the press in the country. I walked across India, walked from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. And uh, talk directly to millions of Indian people, millions of Indian people, and they didn't seem very happy to me. Mm. And they were very clear that uh, there were serious issues with regards to unemployment. There was massive price rise. So there was a there was an angst uh, in the people. There's there's a fight on in India. Uh, there are two visions of India. There is the vision that the BJP has. Uh, it's a centralizing vision. Um, it's a polarizing vision. Mm -hmm. And then there's another vision, equally strong. In fact, if you ask me, much stronger, but not expressing itself. I think that the world is not serious in other countries. क्योंकि भारत के प्रधानमंत्री की अहमियत भारत के प्रधानमंत्री की इज्जत भारत की प्रतिष्ठा और भारत के प्रधानमंत्री के प्रति सम्मान आज पूरे विश्व में निर्विवाद रूप से स्थापित है अस्सी से नब्बे तक तो या तो इनकी दादी जी थी या तो फिर उनके पिताजी थे तो क्या उनके समय में दलित समाज के साथ इस तरह के कार्य हुए और आज जहां तक बात है न आज का हिंदू मुसलमान सिख ईसाई अगर पूरी दुनिया में कहीं सबसे खुशी से और सबसे ज्यादा तेज गति से विकास के रास्ते पर चल रहा है तो भारत ही है तो लोकप्रियता जैसे जैसे बढ़ रही नरेंद्र मोदी जी के वैसे वैसे राहुल गांधी जी का फ्रस्ट्रेशन बढ़ रहा है देश देख रहा है समय आने पे सबको जवाब मिलेगा हर कानून तोड़ने वाला जब कानून उसको सजा देता है तो इसी तरह की बात करता है श्रीमान राहुल गांधी जब किसी एक वर्ग विशेष पर किसी एक समुदाय विशेष पर टीका टिप्पणी कर रहे थे उसके लिए अपमानजनक शब्द कह रहे थे तो उस समय उनको कानून का ध्यान नहीं था और संविधान की बात करते हैं तो उनको संविधान का सम्मान करना चाहिए कानून का सम्मान करना चाहिए
निश्चित तौर से बंद कमरा खुली बात होनी चाहिए अपने देश में अपनी बात कहनी चाहिए वो विदेश कोई प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं है जहां पर जाकर के वो 140 करोड़ देश के लोगों का अपमान करते हैं भारत की सभ्यता संस्कृति आध्यात्म और विकास को और हम विश्व गुरु और सुपर पावर बनने की दिशा में नंबर वन इकोनॉमी बनने की दिशा में वैश्विक नेता बनने की दिशा में जब हम लोग लगभग पहुंच चुके हैं ऐसा करके वो इस मूवमेंट को पीछे कर देते हैं So remember, this has now become a big issue of saying that Muslim League is a secular party. There is nothing non-secular about it. He was talking about the alliance the, the Congress has as a United Democratic Front with the Muslim League and the Congress Party in Kerala. BJP has jumped in to say Muslim League is secular. This has led to partition of India in 1947. Milan Sharma, my colleague, joins me on the latest for this. Milan. I think it's not as much about what he has said, but where he has said it. To say it in the USA, in Washington, at a national press club, re responding to a question. Perhaps that's why the BJP is also gunning for Rahul Gandhi at this moment. Well, absolutely, Pooja. Uh, this is a kind of defensive, uh, you know, situation from Rahul Gandhi's side, of course. And the way the question was posed, if you've also heard the question, and uh, it's uh, them versus them, which means while they call BJP a non-secular party or a one-sided party, how have they tied up with the Muslim League party in Kerala? And of course, Rahul Gandhi goes on to defend uh, the answer and says that yes, no, there is no problem in the Muslim League party and our alliance in Kerala. They are a secular party and of course that kind of messaging that has been put at the international level resonates throughout the world and of course which is why the BJP is blazing guns on Rahul Gandhi saying that yes they will have to defeat uh, sorry they will have to defend because of course they are an alliance partner in Kerala but when they talk about the BJP they yes. don't have the same kind of sentiments for the BJP they don't call the BJP a secular yes. party and that is certainly the problem here in Rahul and, Gandhi and perhaps sir, right could he have now. clarified more because otherwise it wouldn't have become the big controversy it has. Basically the question was that you are charging against Hindu right wing politics or the BJP politics but you are in alliance with the Muslim League in Kerala to which he says Muslim League there's a, it's a secular party there's nothing non-secular about it and the BJP jumped on to this and has been attacking Rahul Gandhi ever since over that. Thank you so much Milan Sharma for the latest on that.